Layered Paint Logos. When painting layered logos, it's critical to take the time to plan and prep the area so that you can set yourself up for a successful project. On this particular project, I sanded the maple plywood with 400 grit to avoid having any scratches in the wood from coarser grits before them. I brushed on my first coat to ensure proper coverage and adhesion to the wood deck. It's critical to allow the first coats to dry to the manufacturer's specs before thinking about remasking the vinyl or adding a second coat. While waiting for the first coats of paint to dry, it's a good time to prep your vinyl decal. Remasking requires you to weed out the opposite colors from the vinyl so you can cover what you have already painted. When laying down the vinyl for the remask, it's critical to get your decal aligned correctly. To help me do this, I left a strip of vinyl as a border for the logo. I marked the center point and used that as a reference point for the remask decal. Also, I didn't remove the backing completely to serve as a buffer for the decal from the board as I lined it up. Once I knew the decal was lined up, I pressed it down and removed the transfer paper. From there, as you can see, I hand painted a thin layer of orange into the logo to avoid pushing paint into the previously painted blue. Take your time here. After laying down the orange with a brush, I took a 3 inch foam roller to roll out any brush strokes left in the paint. This is also a good time to find any spots you might have missed. After applying a second orange coat to the logo, I let the entire logo dry for several hours. I then removed all the tape and vinyl, including the outside logo border, to create a halo of natural board color around the logo. Three layers of color and no mistakes. 